All right, so you're thinking about relocating to Arizona and you're looking at the community of Anthem, Arizona. Today, we're taking you on a full vlog tour. We're gonna show you the different sections and areas of Anthem, Arizona. So come join us. Welcome back to our channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Shauna. I'm Brayden. And on our channel, we talk all about what it's like to live in Phoenix, relocating to Phoenix. So if you want to continue to learn about what it's like to live in Phoenix, relocating here, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell. That way you can continue to learn all about those things. And as much as we love making these videos for you, we would love even more to help you. So our information is gonna be popping up on the screen. So call, text, DM, email, reach out to us. <laughs> if you're moving next month, next week, or next year, it doesn't matter. Just reach out, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Okay, so we are going to drive through a couple of streets um, for you here in Anthem Country Club, show you uh, just the exterior of the style of homes. You can get a sense for the inside of the gates and the community, what it looks like, feels like. Um, try to show you some of the uh, country clubs, uh, a little bit of the golf course views, and so you can get a sense. And then after that, after we show you all that, we're gonna head outside of the gates across the way to Anthem Parkside. Okay, so today we are in uh, Anthem and we're doing a vlog tour for you guys, showing you all the different sections. And right now we are in Anthem Country Club. So this is a guard gated community. Yes. It is a really sought after um, high end and luxury community. It's beautifully maintained. There's golf courses. Um, there's two different uh, community centers, Club clubhouses um, yeah. with different features and amenities, um, restaurants, bars, workout facilities, pools, uh, tennis courts. There's so much. So um, much stuff. And this is really, you know, like we said, it's a it's a high end and luxury community. The price point is higher. You know, really, you're gonna see starting from five hundred thousand dollars for a two bedroom house on up into well over, a you know, a million, sometimes two million, depending on the property. And um, you know, you have different. Uh, you know, uh, houses that back up to the golf course or that have desert landscaping behind them, um, you know, gorgeous pools, gorgeous yes, backyards and, yeah. you know, those, those golf course views or mountain views. You've got a lot of the homes here in the country club have that view fencing, just the way that they designed the homes over here so that, you know, you have those beautiful mountain views because you are north of Phoenix and, you know, that's one of the draws to the country club. It's it's really a lifestyle. It's not just living on the country club side, but it's all about that lifestyle and, and all of the amenities that they offer on in the country club. Okay, so there are two different um, country clubs here on the Anthem side. One of them, uh, you know, one of them's a little bit more casual. So if you wanna like go grab a bite to eat for lunch, you know, you guys can do that. And then there's another one that's more formal. One of the other really nice things about the country club is that they have all of these events that they put on um, for the members throughout the year and the true the the sense of community here in all of anthem but especially even on the country club side is just something that's really sought after so if you're looking for that um, anthem is a really good choice for you <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we're in, in Anthem Parkside, and the reason it's called Parkside is because there's this huge, beautiful community park um, that's really the anchor of Anthem. This is the non-gated portion of Anthem, and it's more family friendly, I think, on this side for sure. There's younger families over here. The price points are gonna be more median to high end, um, you know, whereas the gated club side is more luxury. So there are so many things to do here in Parkside. First of all, this park is huge and massive. Um, it's probably about a mile long and there's tons of grass areas. There's a playground over here. The Daisy Mountain Railroad operates over here. Um, there's a pond. There's a skate park. Um, there's a water park is over here. I believe they have a splash pad as well. The community center is also um, down anchored in this uh, community park. The Veterans Memorial is over here. So tons and tons of um, activities to do and just live and be a family and you know come out and hang out. Every time we come to Anthem, there are always families out here. There's kids playing. The school is over here. One of the one of the many schools, um, the elementary school is also over here. So there's just so much to do and and be in so many activities where you know you can come out with the family and exercise have a picnic come to the playground um, just even walk your dogs you know we're always seeing people out walking their dogs you know kids are out here playing and that is really the draw all of these amenities and the just the way that they built this park is um just it is it is anthem parkside yeah, and um, the sport courts and sport fields are over here attached to the park on the far end as well. Um, and like Shauna said, that community center, um, it is one of the features that you get when you are paying your HOA fees, which, um, you know, there are higher HOA fees in Anthem, but it's because you get these beautiful amenities, well maintained. I mean, this park is so well kept that it, it's, beautiful like you would think it's almost brand new the way how well maintained Bama, it is Bama. um and <laughs> the, com <laughs> the community <laughs> as well is just the the anthem community is so well maintained so yeah it's good to it's see really that it's really beautiful and even like um i know uh, a couple months ago, like they had this big um, anthem uh, bike race around the whole city and it was like a very big community event. One of the many things that is very community friendly about this and it's nice to have kind of like the park connected next to the community center, which is right across from the school and then the sport courts and the sport fields are right there. Right. And it really fosters, I think, that community environment and again, kind of that small town feel where everything is kind of in one central location for the most part and that's where people are gathering they're playing couples are going to be out people are walking their dogs um, so really really nice to see and we're going to go show you some of the um, streets see the uh, styles of, of homes out here and just kind of the difference between um, you know parkside and then the country club side that we were just on earlier in this tour right and so they have this big huge park there's another really large park liberty park um, as well but also throughout the community there are you know small community parks in all of the neighborhoods so there's tons of parks um, you know this is the central hub of Anthem but there are still tons of other parks with playground equipment and barbecue grills and things like that all throughout the community and you know you'll see some of those as we go through our vlog tour <laughs>
so the last part of Anthem that we want to show you is called Anthem Circle Mountain. This is on the west side of the I-17 freeway. It's also in the city of Phoenix, so the benefit there is that you get city water. Um, Anthem is a county island in Maricopa County, so they have private water. So you do have the city water over here. It's a little bit more affordable. Um, this is a, a newer, this is the newest part of Anthem. So there are new builds over here. Um, you have, you know, smaller single family homes, three bedroom, two bath, up to huge, you know, five bedroom, couple 3,000 square foot homes over here. So you get all of the amenities of Anthem, but you also get new builds on this side. So we're gonna drive around and show you um, what the houses in this community look like so you guys can get a feel for it. And um, we, we're gonna show you, you know, there's a little bit of views over here, some uh, undeveloped land that I don't know that there's, you know, really the ability to develop some of the, what's on the side of this part of this neighborhood. Um, yep. So there's a little bit more wildlife over here. We actually had some clients that we helped buy a house in here and we were leaving a party from their house one night and we actually saw wild donkeys like walking through, Just walking through the, the neighborhood. neighborhood they were eating the grass yeah so. it was really cool there's also <laughs> um two different schools over here that's worth mentioning um anthem uh residents are very serious about their education yes. for their families <laughs> and there's a charter school over here and there's also a stem academy over here um there's also another charter school uh, up the way on like the north portion of Anthem um, that is a very popular uh, very rigorous academic uh, charter school yes. and so uh, that's one thing that I think we haven't talked about so far was the education in the schools um, there's Boulder Creek High School here as well which has a lot of great sports programs and they also have the um, some really great educational programs and like uh, the baccalaureate or the baccalaureate uh, program yes yeah. um, and really, uh, really good school for yeah. high school as well. Int intense, rigorous. It, it's in the Deer Valley Unified School District, um, which is a, a very good school district. So it's, it's highly rated. Um, so yeah, it's a really good high school. <laughs> Arroyo Grande community. Now these addresses actually have the New River City address on them but it is considered a part of the Anthem community. It's a little bit farther north and you can only get in and out by going north on the I-17 and then heading west on New River Road. So keep in mind it's as you're going down New River Road it's just like a lot of desert and then all of a sudden this community is just <laughs> going to be here um, and it's uh, I think about 300 to 350 homes or so over here so it's a pretty small community you get some anthem amenities with it um, but you are a little bit more secluded so if you like a really really quiet community beautiful desert and mountain views yes. um, that would be the benefit and there are some bigger homes here there's some RV gates some RV uh, garages in here and uh, you know benefit I think to uh, some of that is just you know having a bigger home um, I mean we've shown a home in here and it was like Oh, 4,000 square feet yeah. or something something you know kind of big like that so if you've got a bunch of kids or a lot of family members or want a big huge house um, that would be the benefit for this community yeah for sure and this is the only community inside Anthem that you actually can have RV parking it does have to be behind an RV gate but if you've got toys or a work truck or a business 
um, and you love Anthem and you love the North Phoenix area, this might be a really great community for you. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helped you learn a little bit more about Anthem and get to know the Anthem community a little bit better. So if you want to continue to learn all about what it's like living in Phoenix and the other great neighborhoods that we have, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you can continue to learn all about what it's like living in Phoenix and relocating here. So reach out to us. We'd love to help you guys make a move and can see if Anthem is the right community for you or maybe one of the other great communities that we have is gonna be a great fit for you. So if you're thinking about making a move, make sure you reach out, call us, text us, DM, send us an email. We'd love to help you. And remember, we are licensed realtors in the state of Arizona. So call and let's have a conversation and find the perfect neighborhood for you.